Essentially, it's about awareness. The awareness topic here is if you're going to drink, don't drive. It's as simple as that. In your group of friends, if you know there's someone who doesn't drink, that could be your designated driver. But best of all, not even drive, just hop on a cab. I think women have a lot more respect for a man who knows when they've had a bit too much to drink and is able to make that decision to say, you know what? I'm not fit to drive. Don't even think about driving. I mean, if you're in that state, being worried about getting caught at a roadblock should be the last thing on your mind. Lock and load. I've just been driven by one of the best F1 races of all time. And we should always be in control of our own actions. So, if you drink, don't try. I've been racing uh, all my life, and I, I definitely understand the danger when you are not in control. When you are drinking and driving, you don't see the distances, your reactions are slower, and you can hurt the innocent people on the road. It's things that we hear, we read in the papers, we see in the news, but we don't ever expect it to happen to us. But guess what, it does. I think it's important for everyone to advocate not drunk driving. You don't really have the option to put the people in your community's lives in danger just because you guys want to go out and party. 99% of the time, maybe you can. But it's that one time when you can't that is going to ruin your entire life, or the life of the people in the car with you, or the life of the people in the car that you're going to hit. Join the pack, stay in control, and never drink and drive. You gotta join the pack. Join the pack. Join the pack. Never drink and drive. And please, join the pack. Make the decision to never drink and drive. And if you absolutely have to drink, get a designated driver or just take a cab home.